Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now one more thing. The link of this Telegram channel is given in description and revision PDF are uploaded on this Telegram channel. So please check it from there. Now let's start. START that is Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty is an agreement between which two countries? So it is an agreement between USA and Russia. Name of agreement is Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. As the name suggests, it is a treaty to reduce the arms. Arms means nuclear arms. So it is for reduction and limitation of strategic nuclear arms by USA and Russia. Why it was in use? Because recently this treaty was about to expire. Now it has been given the extension and that is why it was in use. This was signed in 2010. Recently this was given extension. Now in the context of nuclear arms, recently one more treaty was in use and it is Treaty on Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. So this treaty was adopted in 2017 by United Nations. What is the name of rare Martian mineral which has been recently discovered in Antarctic ice? Name of this mineral is Jarosite. It was recently discovered in Antarctic ice. It is a yellow brown mineral and it is rarely seen on Earth. Usually it is found on Mars and that is why it is being called as Martian mineral because it is found on Mars. On surface of Earth, it is rarely found, but we discovered it on Antarctic ice. Now recently, Hope Probe was also in news. It is a mission on Mars and it is a mission by UAE, that is United Arab Emirates. Recently, China's first independent mission on Mars was also in news and it is Tianwen-1. Recently, UAE was also in news because of Abraham Accord. Under Abraham Accord, USA played a key role in normalization of ties between UAE and Israel. What is the name of India's initiative to deliver COVID-19 vaccine to the friendly countries? The name of this initiative is Vaccine Matri. Under this initiative, we are providing vaccines to the neighboring countries. Now, in the context of vaccine, for the overall monitoring of entire vaccination process, the COVID platform was launched. Apart from that, recently, an empowered group was constituted for COVID-19 vaccine and this group is headed by Mr. Arash Sharma, that is Ram Sevak Sharma. He is the former chairperson of TRI, that is Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Recently, he was in news as he has been appointed as the next CEO of NHA. NHA stands for National Health Authority. So NHA is the implementing authority of Ayushman Bharat Health Scheme. Which Indian state is to play the host of International Conference on Gender Equality? So it is going to be Kerala. Recently, Kerala was also in news as first gender park is going to be in Kozikod in Kerala. It, the event, that means the International Conference on Gender Equality is going to be in February 2021 and the Chief Minister will inaugurate this gender park at Kozikod. Kerala was also in news because of Arya Rajendran. She is the youngest mayor of India and she became the mayor from the Trivanandpuram city in Kerala. Global Climate Litigation Report has been released by which organization? So it has been released by UNEP, that is United Nations Environment Program. Title of the report is Global Climate Litigation Report. So as per the report, the number of climate litigation cases around the world has almost doubled. UNEP is United Nations organization. The headquarters of UNEP is in Nairobi in Kenya. Which Indian company has emerged as the fifth strongest brand as per the Brand Finance Global 500 ranking? So as per this ranking, Reliance Zio is on fifth position. Reliance Zio is owned by Mr. Mukesh Ambani and it is the fifth strongest brand globally. Now this is very significant because Reliance Zio was founded only in 2016. So it is a new organization despite that it has achieved this milestone. List is topped by WeChat. So WeChat is on top position from Indian side. Reliance Zio is on top position and overall it is on fifth position. Ferrari is on second position. The World Gold Demand Trends Report is released by which organization? So it is released by 
World Gold Council. As per this council, the gold purchased by the central banks of different countries sharply declined in 2020 and the decline is approximately 60%. So you just need to remember the trend that in 2020 it declined. Report was released by World Gold Council. The headquarters of World Gold Council is in London in UK. Recently UK was in news as it is the host of COP26. It is going to be in Glasgow, COP25 held in Spain in Madrid under the presidency of Chile government. Which country has requested for the debt restructuring at IMF under the new common framework? So this country is Chad, that is Republic of Chad and it is a landlocked country in the North Central Africa. Now first thing first, what is debt restructuring? Debt restructuring means you are not able to repay your debt. So you are saying that please change the terms and condition of this debt so that I can repay it. Suppose previously the interest rate was 5% and you had to pay it in 2 years. Now you are saying that no, I won't be able to repay it in 2 years. I need more time, say 5 years. So the debt will be restructured according to this plan. Obviously you will have to pay more interest in this because you are taking more time to repay. So this is one simplest example of debt restructuring. Which country has launched a new variant assessment platform? This is a platform to monitor or to track the new variants of coronavirus. This has been launched by UK. Recently, a new strain of virus was found in UK. UK was also in news as it is the host of G7 summit this year. And UK has invited India, Australia and South Korea for this. UK was also in news because of D10. D10 is a group of 10 democracies. This was suggested by UK as an alternate to reduce dependency on China for 5G equipments. That means to reduce the dependency on China, a similar initiative was started by three other countries. It is SCRI, that is Supply Chain Resilience Initiative. And it is initiated by India, Japan and Australia. Union Cabinet has cleared a policy for the privatization of which of the following entities. So for the privatization of PSU, that is Public Sector Undertakings, Union Cabinet has approved a policy. As per this policy, government should completely exit from the non-strategic sectors. What does that mean? See, there are two types of sectors non-strategic and strategic. So, as per this policy, government should not involve in the business related to non-strategic sectors. So, government should exit from this. In case of strategic, government should have presence of 1 to 4 entities. That means 1 to 4 PSU, that is public sector undertakings. So, as per this policy, in non-strategic sectors, government should privatize and disinvest. Answer in comment box, what is the difference between privatization and disinvestment? Which country has recently signed Memorandum of Understanding with International Energy Agency for strengthening cooperation in global energy security? So for this purpose, IEA, that is International Energy Agency, has signed agreement with India. Why this agreement has been signed? It has been signed for cooperation in global energy security. Now IEA is a Paris-based organization. It is in France. It is an intergovernmental organization which was established on the framework of OECD, that is Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. Which international organization conducted the event on restoring cross-border mobility? So this was organized by WEF, that is World Economic Forum. Now because of coronavirus pandemic, there was lockdown. Now to restore the cross-border mobility, cross-border mobility means movement from one country to another country. So to restore this, World Economic Forum organized a event and recently Union Health Ministry addressed the event. The objective is to reopen borders and enable essential travel in a safe and sustainable method. Recently, this World Economic Forum was also in news because of Edition Alliance. So this alliance has been set up by World Economic Forum to reduce the digital divide. The alliance is covered in detail in 1st February video. India conducted a joint forum meet with which country under its Act East policy. So recently India conducted its fifth Act East forum meeting with Japan. The meeting was co-chaired by Foreign Secretary Harshvardhan Sringla. So Mr. Sringla is our Foreign Secretary. Mr. Ash Jayashankar is our Minister of External Affairs. Now there are two terms. First is Look East and second term is Act East. So this Look East policy was launched by former Prime Minister P.V. Narsimha Rao in 1991. 
the main intention of this policy was to give more priority to the countries which are in eastern side of india that means the asian countries later this look east policy was upgraded to act east policy by the current prime minister mr modi so look east was launched by mr pv narsimha rao and act east was launched by mr modi and this was launched during east asia summit in 2014 and this summit held in myanmar what does our stand in stars project that has been co-sponsored by world bank so what is stars it is strengthening teaching learning and results for the states so the objective is to improve the quality of education in six selected states this is a project by ministry of education and for this project it has collaborated with world bank so world bank is going to provide the financial support for this project project is for the improvement of quality of education in six states of our country recently it was in news because the agreement for the financial support of the project was signed with world bank and this project will be implemented by department of school education this department of school education is an under ministry of education as per the re- report released by alvarez and marcel india what is the average time taken for the resolution in india under ibc as on september 2020 what is ibc ibc is insolvency and bankruptcy code so suppose there is a firm a1 it took loan but business was not sustainable so it filed for the bankruptcy now in how much time this entire process will be sold and this entire process will be over so the question is that the average time taken for resolution of such firms is 440 days this is on the basis of a report by alvarez and marcel india which ministry has recently introduced changes to the corporate social responsibility rules so the csr is related to companies act and companies act is related to mca that is ministry of corporate affairs recently mca introduced certain changes to the csr rules and one such change is impact assessment now first thing first what is csr so as the name suggests it is the social responsibility of corporates that means corporates need to take certain social initiatives for example a corporate company is financing a project of child education or a project of sanitation now what will be the impact of this project this is called as impact assessment that means how this project is going to change the life of people so under the new rules it is mandatory to disclose all the csr projects which are taken by a particular company and it is also mandatory to show the information of csr committee composition of that company which tech major has announced the proprietary has announced the proprietary technology for charging multiple electronic devices in wireless mode that means the technology of charging different electronic devices without any wire or any cable so recently this chinese technology company xiaomi was in news it has announced mi air charge this is a new wireless charging technology that has been patented by the company so with this technology multiple electronic devices can be charged without any cable or any port or any wireless charging stand now the company has announced that this is still in the concept phase and it will take a lot of time to be commercially available which construction major has bagged the contract for the construction of steel bridges for the mumbai and ahmedabad bullet train project so this has been bagged by lnt construction so it is going to build the bridge steel bridges for the mumbai and ahmedabad bullet train project and this project has been bagged as a consortium consortium means a group of companies so one is lnt and another is japan's ihi infrastructure systems as per the economic survey 2020 21 what would be the india's gdp growth rate in fiscal year 21 22 so india's gdp growth rate is going to be 11% in fiscal year 21 22 in the current fiscal year the growth is minus 7.7% recently economic survey was tabled now this economic survey is annual document which is prepared by the dea that is department of economic affairs and this dea is under finance ministry the government of india has approved the closure of its state owned company recently so this is the scooters india limited recently central government approved the closure of this company this was 
incorporated in 1972 and the headquarters is in Lucknow. So this was manufacturing scooters and this was facing lows and that is why now it will be closed. Recently Lucknow was in news as Lucknow Metro became the first metro in our country to sanitize metro coaches using UV rays. Which state has recently reduced the VAT? VAT stands for value added tax rate for petrol and diesel by 2%. Now, one important point is that this name of state is not so important for central exams. But you need to remember that right now, petrol, diesel and other fuels are outside the purview of GST. This is important. So since they are outside the purview of GST, the state governments impose tax on these fuels and state government determine the VAT on these fuels. What is VAT? It is value added tax. So recently Rajasthan reduced the VAT on petrol and diesel and this was reduced by 2 percentage. What is the corpus of Startup India seed fund scheme which was approved recently? So it is 945 crore rupees. This is a new fund which has been approved by the government and it is Startup India seed fund. Recently Pranam summit was organized by the commerce ministry and during that summit it was announced. Now it has been approved that's why it was in use. This Pranam summit was organized to commemorate the five years of Startup India scheme. This scheme was launched in 2016. It is a scheme related to Department of Commerce and for this Pranam summit BIMSTEC was the key partner. The headquarters of BIMSTEC is in Dhaka in Bangladesh. External Affairs Minister Mr. Ash Jayashankar proposed eight guiding principles to repair the strained relationship with which country. So this country is our neighbor China. So first and foremost it is about India and China relationship. Second thing is that this eight guiding principles were proposed by our External Affairs Minister Mr. Ash Jayashankar. Now recently China was also in news as it is the country with biggest current account surplus. Previously Germany was on this position now China is on top position. USA is the country with biggest current account deficit. Next question is Chori Chora is a town located in which Indian state? So it is in Uttar Pradesh near Gorakhpur. Now it was in news because this time this incident now it was in news because of Chori Chora incident. Now first thing first please note that in certain media reports it is shown that this Chori Chora incident took place on 5th of February. However, as per the official documents by the UP government, it is 4th of February. So please remember this. Now on this day in 1922, there was a clash between British police and people of India and this led to the violence and because of this violence, Gandhiji decided to withdraw the non-cooperation movement on 12th of February. Next question is, what was INFAC T81 which was in news recently? So it was a naval craft and it served in Indian Navy for more than 20 years and it was useful in surveillance and search and rescue. It was commissioned in Indian Navy in 1999. Recently it was in news because it was decommissioned at Naval Dockyard in Mumbai and this was built at Goa Shipyard Limited in collaboration with Israel manufacturer. Next question is what is the full form of BNI which was mentioned in the economic survey. So it is bare necessities index and it specify the access to bare necessities like drinking water, sanitation, housing conditions. So this index lists 26 indicators on 5 dimensions. These are water, sanitation, housing, micro environment and other facilities. So as per the recent survey, the access to bare necessities that means access to these bare necessities improved in all states if we compare 2012 and 2018. That means in 2018 the access to all these bare necessities increased in all states. Next question is NAB FID. The new bank which is proposed to be set up is to finance which sector? So this has been proposed to finance the infrastructure projects. What is NAB FID? It is National Bank for Financing Infrastructure and Development. So a bill has been introduced in the budget session for this. So this will finance the infrastructure projects. Now if we talk about parliament there are three sessions B, M, W that is budget, monsoon and winter session. Now this developmental financial institution that is DFI will act as a principal institution for financing the infrastructure projects. 
first thing first what is dfi that is development financial institution it means this institution is going to finance the projects which may not be commercially viable suppose in case of arunachal pradesh we have to install mobile towers next question is which country is to introduce a bill to ban all private cryptocurrencies and to create a sovereign digital currency so it will be done by our country and this will be done by our central bank reserve bank of india sovereign digital currency means currency which has been issued or approved by the government or the country so in this context a legislative framework is expected and that is why it was in news now rbi was also in news because of pidf that is payment infrastructure development fund next question is which country has the highest share in global basmati rice trade so india has the highest share in fact india has a contribution of 65% share in the global basmati trade why it was in news because both india and pakistan are claiming gi tag for its basmati rice in european union however the problem was that pakistan had not given the status of gi tag to basmati rice in its own country recently pakistan gave the status of gi tag to the basmati rice in its own country and that is why now both countries are competing in european union for gi tag gi stands for geographical indication next question is as per the recent research by what percentage the number of oceanic sharks and rays have declined in indian ocean so recently a study was published in a journal nature as per the study sharks and rays declined in indian ocean by 84.7 percentage globally the decline is by 71 percentage since last 50 years next question is which country recently commenced operations in its hualong one unit nuclear reactor so this country is china recently it started operations or commercial operations in its hualong one unit and this is a third generation pressurized water nuclear reactor and this is in fujian province a hole which was making news recently for its refugee camp is a town in which country so it is in syria syria is a country in west asia so it is a refugee camp as you can see this is the location of this camp so it is largest camp for refugees and displaced syrians in the country and it is located in the northeast of syria so in simplest term it is a refugee camp that means refugees coming from the different parts of the country are settling here now recently united nations counter terrorism chief has requested countries to repatriate the children which are stranded in this massive camp repatriate means to send them or to send these children back to their home now please note that every year on 20th of june world refugee day is observed which indian company is going to launch a new covid-19 vaccine under brand name covax so it will be launched by serum institute of india and it is going to launch a new vaccine name is covax and for this it has partnered with american vaccine developer novavax now serum institute of india has already launched covishield and this was developed in partnership with the oxford university and with the astra zeneca now the serum institute of india is a pune based institution and adar punawala is a chairperson of this institution Pune is in Maharashtra. In which of India's neighboring countries military has taken control? So recently there was a coup in Myanmar. Myanmar is also known as Burma. So military has taken control in Myanmar and it has declared one year of emergency. The prominent figure from government Aung San Suu Kyi has been detained. She is the head of NLD. What is NLD? It is the name of party that was in power and it is National League for Democracy and C was given Nobel Prize in 1991 for her non-violent struggle for democracy and human rights in Myanmar. Who is the chairperson of 15th Finance Commission? So recently it was in news because the commission has submitted its report and this was headed by Mr. N K Singh. So recently the commission has submitted 117 core recommendation. Now. Finance Commission is a constitutional body it is co constituted as per the provisions of article 280 and it is constituted by the president of india for 5 years that means after every 5 years this finance commission is constituted the first such finance commission was constituted in 1951 and at that point of time the chairperson of 
this finance commission was mr kc niyogi what is the full form of opc which was in news during the recent budget so opc stands for one person company that means one person can set up as a company recently it was in news because now non residents can set up one person company so this will benefit startups for non residents indians previously the residency requirement was 182 days now it is 120 days so this will help in ease of doing business next question is as per the budget 2021 22 what is the estimated fiscal deficit for the current financial year so for the current financial year the estimated fiscal deficit is 9.5 percentage of gdp for next fiscal year it is expected to be 6.8 percentage and the target is to keep the fiscal deficit below 4.5 percentage of gdp by 2025 26 what is the new fdi limit in insurance companies as proposed in union budget 2021 22 so the previous limit was 49% now it has been proposed that it should be allowed up to 74% that means up to 74% fdi that is foreign direct investment should be allowed in insurance sector and for this purpose insurance act of 1938 should be amended apart from that foreign ownership with safeguard would be allowed in insurance sector now one more thing in case of insurance lic was also in use as ipo of lic will be launched this year what is ipo it is initial public offering that means the shares of lic can be purchased by the public how many new minor forest produce items have been added under the marketing of minor forest produce through msp scheme so total 14 new minor forest produce items have been included in this marketing of minor forest produce through msp scheme now first thing first let me explain you the background story so tribal people are living in forest they collect different forest products now what government is trying government is trying to fix msp for these product products so that these tribal people can sell these items and can earn decent amount of money what is the outlay for pm atmanirbhar swasth bharat yojana so the outlay is 64180 crores this is a new scheme which has been announced by the government and it is for health sector it is a new centrally sponsored scheme see there are two type of schemes one is centrally sponsored one is central sector scheme so in central sector scheme central government will manage entire financial sources in centrally sponsored scheme both central and state government are going to provide the financial support for that particular scheme so this is a centrally sponsored scheme the allocation is of 64180 crore over a period of 6 years and this will focus on upgrading our capacities of primary secondary and tertiary healthcare system what is the name of global conference being hosted by kerala state planning board so the name of this conference is kerala looks ahead so it aims to frame the roadmap for long term development in the state now recently kerala was also in news as it is the first state to announce msp for vegetables it was also in news because of arya rajendran as she is the youngest mayor in our country and she is mayor from the tiruvananthapuram in kerala what is the outlay of the deep ocean mission which was announced recently in the union budget so it is 4000 crore rupees and it has been announced for over 5 years so this is about the exploration of ocean and this will also include projects to conserve the deep sea biodiversity so it will have projects to explore the resources plus to conserve the biodiversity in the ocean rbi has appointed an external firm to audit hdfc bank under the provisions of which act so it is banking regulation act of 1949 Recently RBI appointed an external professional IT firm to carry out the special audit of the entire IT infrastructure of HDFC Bank. Previously RBI had already penalized the HDFC Bank for repeated service failures in the internet banking. Now to make sure that everything is appropriate in the infrastructure of HDFC Bank RBI has appointed this external firm to audit and this has been done as per the provisions of Banking Regulation Act of 1949. which technology company has launched a new initiative called startup school so this has been launched by google the parent company of google is alphabet recently alphabet was in news as it announced that it is going to drop its project loon so project loon was a project 
that was started to provide internet connectivity in the unconnected areas with the help of balloons. Now, Alphabet has announced that they are going to discontinue this project. Google was also in news as recently it acquired Fitbit. With Space Agency has announced the launch of its first all civilian mission to space. So this has been announced by SpaceX. SpaceX is a company by Elon Musk. So this is going to be a all civilian mission. All civilian means everyone will be a civilian. So the mission will be first all commercial astronaut mission to the orbit. Name is Inspiration 4. So please remember this name. This is important. And this will be launched using the Falcon 9 rocket of SpaceX. SpaceX is a company by Elon Musk. And this mission is a charity focused mission commanded by Gerard Isaacman. So Gerard Isaacman is a American businessman. Patti Chatra, which was in news, is a popular art form of which state or union territory. So it is related to Odisha. It is a traditional style of painting on a cloth based scroll. Why it was in news? Because recently Prime Minister Mr. Modi mentioned it during his Man Ki Baat radio program and that is why it was in news. So Patti Chitra is a style of painting and it is associated with Odisha. Now with the help of this art form, the artist sometimes try to convey the mythological stories. Which Indian city is the venue of global air show Aero India? So for this time, that means for the 13th edition, Bengaluru is the host and it is organized at Yelahanka Air Force Station in Bengaluru. Now please remember this is the 13th edition and it is hosted by Defense Exhibition Organization. It is under MOD that is Ministry of Defense. Now recently this Yelahanka Air Force Station was also in news because the Defense Minister inaugurated Chief of Air Staff Conclave at this Air Force Station and this is in Bengaluru in Karnataka. India's first amputee clinic has been recently launched in which city? So recently this was launched in Chandigarh in Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research and it is first amputee clinic of India. So this will provide the holistic services to its patient. This will include social, mental and physical support to its patients. Chandigarh is the joint capital of Haryana and Punjab. As per a recent research, Protein based devices have been designed to detect which disease. So this disease is COVID-19. So scientists have developed a new protein based biosensor to detect the novel coronavirus. Let me explain you in simplified language. Suppose this is coronavirus. Now on the surface of this virus there is a protein. Now with the help of this new method, this protein will be identified. Now this will be emitting light. That means once it will identify the protein, it will bind with this protein and then it will emit light and that is how we can detect whether it is a virus or not. So this device recognize the unique molecules which are present on the surface of virus and then they are going to bind to them and therefore they will emit light through biochemical reaction. So this is how we are going to detect it. Now this method is faster than RT-PCR method. So the first question is the Supreme Court has directed which mutual fund company to distribute 9122 crores to its unit holders. So this is related to Franklin Templeton Mutual Fund. Now few months ago this company abruptly closed six schemes and that is why the investors were worried about it. The matter is Supreme Court. Now Supreme Court has directed this Franklin Templeton company to distribute this one to distribute this 9122 crore rupees to its unit holders. Next question is Defense Ministry has signed a deal to procure Tejas LCA that is light combat aircraft from which organization? So Tejas is related to HAL. HAL is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Recently Defense Minister inaugurated a new plant at HAL in Bangalore. HAL is a public sector undertaking under MOD that is Ministry of Defense. Headquarters is in Bangalore. Next question is manufacturing zones under Atam Nirbhar Bharat package scheme is to be implemented by which union ministry? So it will be implemented by Ministry of Power. Recently during budget, this manufacturing zones under Atam Nirbhar Bharat package was announced. Under this package, in the upcoming time, 1500 crore rupees will be allocated. Next question is what does R stand in a statutory body of India? NCPCR. So what is NCPCR? NCPCR is a National Commission for Protection of Child Rights. It is a statutory body. Statutory body means by law this has been created. Recently it was in news because of a 
company Fenty Beauty. Now, this company is owned by pop star Rihanna. In which state? Kaliwali Lake is located. So, it is in Tamil Nadu. It is a coastal lake and it is second largest brackish water lake in southern India after Lake Polikat. Why it was in use? Because recently the district administration because recently the district administration issued the first declaration under the WPA that is Wildlife Protection Act to declare this wetland as a bird sanctuary. So first thing first this is a coastal lake and a wetland. Second is it is in Tamil Nadu and to be specific this is in Vallipuram district. Next question is which union ministry has launched a unified portal for Gobardhan scheme. Now this has been done by Ministry of Jal Shakti. Actually recently a portal for this Gobardhan scheme was launched. This scheme was launched to manage the cattle and biodegradable waste. This way this scheme helps farmers to increase their income. Now recently this scheme was in use because of this new portal. The portal is going to track the progress made under this scheme. Now this scheme that means this Gobardhan scheme is implemented under Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen phase. Next question is what is the new milestone achieved in India's foreign portfolio investment as of 2020? So a new milestone has been achieved in terms of FPI that is one port that is foreign portfolio investment in India and it is 31.7 billion dollars. This is highest investment in a financial year since 2012-13. Now what is FPI that is foreign portfolio investment. So when non residents invest that means those who are outside India if these people invest in Indian share bond and securities then this is that means this investment is considered as foreign portfolio investment. So your homework is to read about the difference between FPI and FDI. Next question is Pragyan Bharti and Bhasha Gorov are the recent initiatives of which state. So these are the recent initiatives of Assam Chief Minister is Sarvanan Sonowal. Under this Pragya Bharti initiative, funding will be provided to the college students for purchasing textbooks. And under Bhasha Gorab initiative, the state government is going to provide financial assistance to the literary bodies. That, that is Sahitya Sabha. Next question is which country hosted the Indian Ocean Region Defense Minister's Conclave in February 2021? So this is hosted by India on the sidelines of Aero India. 2021. So this is world's first hybrid aero show and this was organized in Bangalore. And on the sidelines of this event, India hosted Indian Ocean Region Defense Minister's Conclave. And the theme was Enhanced Peace, Security and Cooperation in Indian Ocean. And during this event, India announced that it is going to supply missile systems, light combat aircraft and other weapons to the countries which are friendly to India in Indian Ocean region. Next question is what is the classification of fishing cat as per IUCN red list. Now first thing first what is IUCN? It is International Union for Conservation of Nature. So it published a red list of species which are threatened. So There are different categories endangered, critically endangered, threatened, vulnerable. Now the question is what is the classification of fishing cat as per this category as per this categorization. So as per this Fishing cat is a vulnerable species and this cat is found in the wetlands and in mangrove systems. Recently it was in news because this Fishing Cat Conservation Alliance started a worldwide campaign to spread awareness about the conservation of these cats. Unique thing is that these are found in wetlands and in mangrove systems and this cat is nocturnal. Nocturnal means active in night. Next question is. SEBI has banned the chairperson and promoters of which company from the securities market. So this company is Future Group and SEBI has banned the chairperson of Future Retails and he is Kisor Biani. So now SEBI that is Security Exchange Board of India has banned chairperson of Future Retail and other, prom other promoters from the securities market for one year. And this was because of insider trading. Now what is insider trading? That means you have some classified information. And on the basis of that information, you are processing the trading. This is illegal. That means this insider trading is illegal. SEBI is security. SEBI is Securities Exchange Board of India. Now recently, this future group was also in news because of its dispute with Amazon. Actually, future group is collaborating with Reliance and Amazon is not happy with this collaboration. As per Amazon, this is violation of an agreement 
between Future Group and Amazon. And because of this, Amazon has moved to Delhi High Court against this deal between Future Group and Reliance Retail. You need not to go in too much detail, but you should know which entities are involved. So that was all for the day. 